Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Nick Snowell here, and we're back with another video. We're back with Nikki Reacts, and for today's video, we're going to be reacting to Nuke's Top 5. Yes, Nuke's Top 5, because why not? You know, Nuke's Top 5 never fails. Yeah, plus, I miss Nuke's Top 5. So, yeah, for today's video, we're going to be reacting to Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to give you brown pants. So, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing laundry after this video. I have no idea. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna have brown pants later on. Before we get into watching, please do subscribe. Click that little bell right next to it. Tickle it, make it laugh. It'll help you roll out. And if you guys haven't seen my last video, click on the moon, click on the ghost, click on the screen because why not? So for this video, I'm gonna be commenting, suggesting, debunking these videos if they're fake or not. That is our goal right here, is to decipher whether these videos are fake or not. So, let's get into watching. I honestly do miss new stuff by, so yeah. Watcher. Oh, snap. Popular former BuzzFeed Unsolved hosts Shane and Ryan are back with an all new paranormal investigation series called Ghost Files over on their very own YouTube channel, Watcher. Now, for those of you who don't know the series, Shane is a diehard skeptic who does not believe in ghosts at all. Diehard skeptic. And on the other hand, does believe in the supernatural and often finds himself scared senseless. Usually like that, there's always a skeptic, there's always a believer. Right, apparently this is where a recurring ghost is seen. I honestly want to see this Watcher. This is what are you? Cut. Hey man, calm down. You give him a heart attack, brother. I went out and then I was looking for you. He's crouching in here like some kind of cave creature. And then I, all I did was I went. I was just oh yeah, coming so to you're say just, hello to you. You're looking for me, more crouching like a zombie. Yeah. So this time the two friends set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Oh bro, this is some scary business. This building right here. Oh gosh. Colossus. Shockingly, it is estimated that around 63,000 people lost their lives inside the sanatorium walls. So it's no wonder that Waverly Hills is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in America. For sure, for sure, 100%. Many visitors claim to have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Ryan and Shane make it to the second floor of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium when they capture something uh, truly bizarre. Now, of course, some sounds have more to do with bad dietary choices than the paranormal. But no worries, because things are about to get spooky. Weird. In the past, many visitors and parents There's a really large building, bro. Creepy, unexplained humming in the morgue of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Brother, no way. Shane and Ryan explore Skeptic becoming a believer now, to huh? react to the investigator's requests and hums not once. But, but twice. twice. And to this day, they still have no explanation for the creepy sounds. I don't see no Now, for the files. final part of their investigation, the guys decide that they will each explore the entire sanatorium. Each, so one alone. at a time and all alone. Always the best when idea. When does his walkthrough investigation of the hospital, he just keeps haunting the sanatorium. Yeah, it's a coping mechanism. Y'all want to play a fucking game? You little punk! I actually have always long been curious if the reason why Shane never gets anything in his solo investigations is because uh, he's an enormous D-bag. I love kids. Balls. I love to play games. What I need you to do is roll your ball to me. Where's my tanning? Depends on what ball. And yeah, it is, he's just an enormous D-bag. It's just confirmed. If you don't show yourself, I'm going to make you show yourself to me! Oh my gosh, he's actually... What? Something very strange He's also actually happens. provoking, bro. When Shane finally makes his way back to Ryan and the rest something. of the team, he admits that at some point, oh my gosh, a creepy translucent figure can be seen standing behind Shane in a doorway. Now, Shane doesn't see the apparition, I don't but see he it. does admit that he heard some strange noises at the exact same moment. I mean, I'm a believer, but I don't see it. Of Waverly Hills Sanatorium, as always. I leave it up to you. I don't see it. That's what all. That's all I can say. I don't see it. This entire investigation and many more spooky videos of Shane and Ryan exploring haunted places over on the YouTube channel, Watcher. Not clowning around.
TikTok user Jacob explains in his videos that he's recently inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away. Not and Jacob says idea, that he can't shake the strange feeling that something in the old house just doesn't want him there. Bro, history and hauntings go hand in hand, so... The creepy old jester doll that belonged to his grandmother. No, thank you. My grandmother's old house. She left it for me, and when okay, I got you, here, I, I saw say a bunch no of clowns. Stuff. I hate clowns. And one of the best things is right behind here. Oh yeah. Heck no. Heck. I call him Jeffrey. No, he has a name. Jeffrey. Grandma no. For me, I guess. What the freak are you on the table? Real crazy. Anyone tell you not to sit on the table? Kinda cute. If, if that... Jacob says that when he was a child, the sight of the doll used to terrify Oh, just looking at it terrifies as me. ...anymore. But then, late one night, Jacob wakes up to hear knocking coming from his bedroom closet. Oh, this video, bro. I saw this on Lord Darkness. This is some creepy business. Just, like, watch till the end. You'll see something that'll turn your head. Hmm? Literally. Watch and learn. Jester doll's head has that. turned. Before it was facing the bed. Exactly. But now it is staring I mean, right at Jacob as he it? closes the closet door. Did he even notice that? Almost as if it's keeping an eye on him. Jacob says that he didn't even realize that he the doll had it. moved at the time and only noticed it later when looking back at his footage. He literally so didn't could notice it. Be it that Jacob's bro. grandmother's home is haunted? Could there be an entity attached to the creepy jester? It might. I'll leave that to you. To have decide. some attachment. A haunted hello. Oh no. Christine no, Wright no, from you. the Paranormal no Investigation Team, Maybe. CBS Paranormal, sets out all alone to explore the so called, quote, Pirate's Graveyard in Portland, England. The scenic cemetery was built way back in 1475 and has gotten its odd nickname from the many gravestones that feature carvings of skulls Pirate. and crossbones. Christine oh, finds shit. herself completely alone when suddenly something happens that she still can't explain to this day. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh! That was clear as day. What? Literally Hello? clear as day. Hmm. Sure, I thought somebody shouted hello then, or said hello. That wasn't so Christine's evil. All alone when she hears something behind her, and as she turns, she hears a woman nearby clearly say. Hello. Clear as day. Um, can that bully that 100%. Out of the way, so nobody... Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hello. Oh. The devil down below. No. This next creepy video was no. recorded on an allegedly cursed river in Indonesia. Now, many locals Asia. claim that a strange Why creature so lives haunted. in this river and surfaces only after dark to prey on its victims. So, in the dead of night, Four friends set out to attempt to capture video evidence of this alleged oh, mysterious wow. creature. Out there just sailing the guys drift ghost. along the river in their boat for hours until they see something in the water near an abandoned shipwreck. What happens next is downright terrifying. Okay, what happened? Oh. Heck no. That's some creepy web claw-like hand. What looks like a pale hand with long web uh. fingers quickly splashes out of the water and snatches at a plastic bottle floating on the surface. Then it just disappears back into the murky depths from which it came. The four friends believe they might have captured the infamous water creature that is said to live in the river. What type of but animal or creature has that type is? of you know, limb? Let me know. Behind your back. Connor Lyles from Fresno, California is coming home late one evening. 
when he suddenly Gunsta hears something monster. right the Gunsta monster. His doorbell camera captures something downright chilling. Okay, CCTV cameras, ring camera videos. A dark shadow-like figure wow. can be seen walking from left to right behind Connor. Suddenly it appears again, but now a lot closer. Oh my gosh. Connor hears something behind him and quickly turns around, but sees no one there. When he checks his doorbell security camera, he sees the bizarre dark the, figure yeah, the and realizes figure. that perhaps something was following, following him. him. Exactly. But what do you think is going on here? Is it real or is it all? Just an elaborate hoax. I mean, ring cameras decide. can be edited, you know. Oh my gosh. Nukes Top 5. Again, this is my always saying with Nukes Top 5. Nukes Top 5 never fails. So that was Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to give you brown pants. So let me ask you guys. You guys got some brown pants. You guys gotta do laundry now. Cause I'm chill. I'm fine. I handle it like, like a boss. So yeah, I mean, the first video with Ghost Files, they're... they're there has to be, in some sort of duo, if not both of you are a believer, there has to be a skeptic and a believer, you know, just to shake things up, just to make things, you know, in the scientific side and in the spiritual side, so yeah. And in Grandma's house, with the clown, the jester, oh no, I don't play with clowns, I don't play with jesters, I hate them so much, I don't know, they creep me out more than Freddy Krueger, honestly speaking. So yeah, when it turned, I saw this video on Lord Darkness's video and I think, yeah, he didn't really mention about the turning of the head, he mentioned the knocking, but then here in New South 5, he mentioned the turning of the Jester's head, and that's what I noticed on Lord Darkness's video, so, and, 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 the, and the guy didn't even notice, like, the, the clown head turning towards him, just watching him every step he takes. So. As for the last footage though, the ring camera video, I mean, some ring camera videos can be like edited and stuff. With that being said, please do subscribe, click that notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Follow me on Instagram because why not? More haunted videos coming. Please comment down below what you guys want to see next. Leave a like, it'll help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.